Oh, little kitty, if the hard-working inventors of TV were here, they would have been devastated to witness your struggle in trying to get up for the remote. To understand why, let me take you back in time to answer a most watched question. Who invented the first TV? Let's zoom in! Our story begins in 1923 when the Russian-born engineer Vladimir Vorykin applied for his first television patent for the iconoscope which used cathode ray tubes to transmit images. At the same time, in the state of Utah, USA, there was a teenager named Philo Farmsworth. He was expected to follow in his father's footsteps and become a farmer. But he dreamt of pursuing scientific endeavors and spent his time reading about cool inventions, especially the radio, which could magically send sound through the air. While turning the pages of his book, he came across the future of radio, which not only sent sounds but beamed pictures as well. Many inventors were trying to make this happen but had yet to find any success. But one fateful day, while working on his farm, an idea popped into his mind. He thought of slicing an image into parallel rows with a point of line scanning the rows line by line. If this scanning point could move really fast, it had the power to turn still pictures into moving pictures. But the challenge was, how could you manipulate the light to make this a reality? The answer had already been found in Britain by a Scottish inventor named John Baird. He created a mechanical spinning disc drilled with a series of holes, each one lower than the next. Beams of light were projected through the holes and a lens focused them on a subject in a dark room. The light reflecting from the subject was received by photocells which translated it into an electrical current. This electrical current was then transmitted by radio waves and a radio receiver converted these waves back into an electrical current and fed them to a neon lamp. A second spinning disc turning at the exact speed then projected the light reassembling the image. Meanwhile, Philo came up with a better idea and built an image dissector. In his device, light entered through a lens and was converted into electrons. These electrons passed through a vacuum and were transformed into an electric signal that could be transmitted widely like a radio signal and used to recreate the original image. Then in 1927, he filed a patent for the first completely electronic TV set and demonstrated it on the 7th of September of that year. In the next few years, many inventors developed these ideas further and soon TV became a household hit, especially in the early 1950s. The first practical remote control made its debut on store shelves in 1956. Color TV sets gained popularity during the 1970s. And today, we have smart TVs that can connect to the internet to stream all kinds of entertainment. So the next time you switch on your TV to enjoy your favorite shows, remember the people who worked tirelessly to bring us this invention, making it an integral and cherished part of our lives today. Trivia time! Did you know, in 1982, Sony was the first brand to mass-produce a pocket television? Sony Watchman FD210 Yes, this compact device weighed around 650 grams with a measurement of 87 by 198 by 33 millimeters. 
It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Sophia! Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Pinox, zooming out. <laughs>